Happy New Year, everybody, and welcome back to my show. Hope everyone had a great New Year's, and to start off, we have yet another giveaway announcement. This time, I'll be giving away five of these Larry Elder Show mugs. And who doesn't want to have a Larry Elder Show mug? So make sure you go to winlarry.com now, enter the giveaway. I'll be announcing the winners this month, January 20th, live on the Larry Elder Show on Epic TV. So be sure not to miss it. Again, that's winlarry.com. Got that? Capiche. And of course, thank you to everyone who signed up for the last giveaway. We love engaging you guys, so please let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Now, let's get into today's show, shall we? My next guest writes that USC will no longer refer to one's major or one's area of expertise as a field. The University of Southern California School of Social Work sent a letter declaring it would no longer use the word field when referring to one's area of expertise. Instead, it is replacing it with the word practicum. Why would such a reputable school make such a silly, nonsensical change, my guests ask? Because of slavery, of course. The change was motivated by adherence to the radical orthodoxy of anti-racist methodology. So bye-bye field of dreams, bye-bye outfield, left field, right field, center field. Can we still say the press secretary was fielding questions? And Philly DA Larry Krasner's impeachment trial gets indefinitely postponed by the Pennsylvania Senate. The Philadelphia Inquirer says the future of the trial or the timeline for when or even if it resumes remains uncertain. Joining me to discuss this is the man who wrote the piece, Christopher Tremoli of the Washington Examiner. Chris, Field is now racist? Uh, apparently so from the academic elite. Um, so outfield, left field, center field, the movie Field of Dreams, we can't say any of those things because that's racist? Yeah, all, all of that is racist now. It's uh, coming up that basically anything that has some kind of reference to slavery or even some perceived reference to slavery is for whatever reason now being racist. As if and the, the USC that came out with the article said they're doing so because it was a reference to um, slavery and immigrants. As if they're the only people in history who ever worked in the field. And, and that's kind of the illogical craziness behind all this. That it's, 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 it's quite sad where we are in society. It feels like every time I come here, there's something new crazy going on by Democrats on the left. Chris, was somebody triggered? Did somebody raise his or her hand or, or they and say, I'm triggered by the word field? I mean, what prompted this? I, I guess somebody somewhere after declaring their pronoun um, kind of came out and said that they felt it was racist. I, I don't know. That was that's, the, 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 the re one of the things I put in my article is that I think when leftists and left academic missions make such claims like this, they need to show the proof behind it. So if, and, and why, and who ever said this, because I, I don't know of anyone or, or any movement anywhere where they were saying, field is racist, I am triggered, and I can't function in society anymore. Chris, here's the problem. When racism recedes as a factor in American life, the race hustlers have to excavate, have to find new sources of racism. So they have to look around and find something. And now that something is any word that has any kind of possible, arguable, tangential relationship to slavery has to be canceled. Yeah, exactly. And it's, 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 there's no sound reasoning or rationalization behind it all. And it, it just, it's, it's, it's troubling. And I think more people need to fight back against this, diligently fight back against, because otherwise we're really going to lose our culture entirely. What's that? The great Eldersky has in his baby brown libertarian fingers a pair of my pillow, my slippers. Indeed, I do. And these come in different styles and also in different colors. Just call the number on your screen or go to mypillow.com. Use promo code Elder. There are over 100 products, including the Mac Daddy of them all, the MyPillow, MyPillow, or is that redundant? Different sizes, 
You've never slept on anything so comfortable. Call the number on your screen or go to MyPillow.com, promo code ELDER. And don't forget the six pack towel set. These are actually absorbent, they actually work. How many times have you gone to the store, seen towels that look good, feel good, but they don't work, they don't absorb. These puppies absorb. They come in different colors and also different sizes. And then there is the My Pillow Giza Dream bed sheet. Remember, this is an area in Egypt called Giza, where the finest cotton can be found. Mike scoured the world to find the finest cotton. Went to the North Pole, went to the South Pole, but he finally found it in Giza in Egypt. Come in different sizes and different colors. Mine, of course, comes in white because I'm the black face of white supremacy, but you're not. Call the number on your screen or go to mypillow.com, promo code ELDER. Now, this is going all over, all over the country, all over academia, but it seems to be particularly an acute problem here in California. Stanford just uh, uh, wanted to uh, outlaw the word American until people push back, and now they're rethinking that. And this is at, at uh, USC. So is there something in the water? Is it our climate change? Is it the large number of EVs we own here in California? I, I think it's basically California's long storied history of slavery in this state because <laughs> what, what they just did our reparations in california too right yeah i mean it's it's they're really embracing the whole left coast moniker well that's right uh gavin newsom set up a task force and every black descendant of slavery uh gets two hundred and thirty three thousand dollars uh so um there's gonna be a whole lot of black people <laughs> in california all of a sudden chris <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I can see where there's going to be a mass migration um, just to get, cash in on that claim. Well, it's, it's one way to reverse the population loss we've been experiencing over the last couple of years. Now, before you go, I want to talk to you about uh, Larry Krasny. What's the status of his impeachment trial? Um, unfortunately, not good. Um, it, it's, as you pointed out earlier, the, uh, the, the impeachment trial has been suspended indefinitely. It's, it's, it's really sad because as a Pennsylvania Republican, we were, we were kind of looking forward to this and hoping some justice would have been served against Larry Elder. Um, not, Larry, not Larry Elder. No, no, no. Larry Krasner. Sorry. Blame, so sorry hey, about that. Hey, Chris. Krasner. Hey, Chris. Blame, blame the black guy. I'm used to it. I'm the black face of white supremacy. And, and by oh, the way, Krasner, sorry, Kras, sorry. Krasny, uh, Krasner did play the, uh, the race card. Remember? He said, uh, some of you might remember the, the Southern Manifesto, uh, the document that was signed by a bunch of Democrats. And that's why he got impeached because of, of the racist uh, uh, Republicans who uh, were uh, sympathetic to the Southern Manifesto, the document that uh, Democrats signed after um, uh, uh, Separate but equal was struck was struck down by by Brown versus Board of Education. <laughs> yeah, and I'm I'm so, kind of shocked that Larry Krasner didn't try to find any like tangential word that was related to slavery to find some oppression. So it's it's quite sad because you're really not a Pennsylvania Republican unless you're disappointed by your elected officials. Right. Right. Well. Um, I didn't think he was going to be thrown out of office because the Senate is majority Democrats, right? Uh, so I Correct. thought there would at least be a trial, but now the trial has been postponed indefinitely. Correct. Yeah, it's uh, and the negative part there is the indefinitely, and, and I feel that eventually it'll be just swept under the rug and forgotten about. Well, Chris, as always, thank you very much for uh, for joining me. I know that you were en route somewhere else, so you pulled over just for us. We appreciate it. No problem. Thank you, Larry Elder, uh, for having me on. So. That's right. The two Larrys. <laughs> yes, sir. Now be sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe and scroll down and become a member of our mailing list. Why? Well, because from time to time, apparently YouTube has an issue with some of our videos. So if you want to make sure you see all of our videos, scroll down, get on our mailing list. And also hit that donate button. You may want to throw a little something in the tip jar to make sure we still give you hard-hitting, cutting-edge programming content. And go to LarryWithEpic.com, LarryWithEpic.com to find my show.